I stopped, I was looking at this woolly, this woolly ass thing, wondering what it could be. It's, I'm guessing maybe Asteraceae, but you never really know. Those bracts certainly do look like it though, huh? You just get a feel for the vegetation once you fall in love with the family, with the damn Daisy family. And then I'm looking down here, and look at this, look at this beautiful bastard. Look at that thing. Orthophytum crystalliense. Look at those red flowers. Obviously hummingbird pollinated, just coming right out the leaf axles. God damn. Oh, that's so cool. What a beautiful little bromeliad. Look at the trichomes on those leaves too. Oh, it's dense. It's pretty nice. Okay, welcome to another episode of Crime Pays But Bonnie Doesn't. Today we's coming to you from northern Minas Gerais State, right there in southeastern Brazil. And what we're going to be doing is examining something called a sky island, a little tower of rock that juts up above the surrounding seasonally dry tropical forest and has a little bit uh, cooler and moister of a climate so we get a different plant community. Saw a bunch of wild stuff growing there, so let's check it out. So on a nearby mountaintop, look, this thing looks like, uh, you'd assume it's Melastomatase, but you get closer. I'm looking at a complete flower, and you see six petals, not five, and then of course those anthers. Those are not Melastomatase anthers. This is Lithraceae, same genus as Pomegranate, and a, a very diverse genus Cufe, which you get in Mexico. And look at those, look at those distinct fruits, too, those, those uh, capsule fruits. The Plusodon is, the, uh, is probably the genus here. The Loosestrife family. Nice hummingbird pollinated peas. You can see, look at those bright red flowers. Danglers for the hummers. And there's the uh, the style poking out of that thing. Stamens are included inside that keel, of course. Glabrous leaves up top. Triffid and Faboidae subfamily. Of the pea family, Fabaceae. And Glaucus coriaceus, of course, as well. Really cool plant. Look at that. That's a banger. Jesus Christ, this Camacris is taking glandularity. That's even a word to a new level. Look at that. God damn it. Is that a camera, Chris? It looks like the maybe the stamens have been nibbled off. That's what it looks like. It's got that, that uh, asymmetrical opening. Look at how glandular that is. Oh my God, it's sticky. Yeah, and there's those leaves. Glaucus, sclerophyll. Look at that thing. That thing's incredible. What the shit is that? Variations on a theme. Well, this is cool. Ericaceae is the family here. This is Galasatia. Gay Lusatia, which you get in the American Southeast. I guess it could be Galtheria. Yeah, it really looks like Gay Lusatia. Definitely Ericaceae, though. Ursi lit flowers, five petals fused together. You got that style poking out. Look at the leaves, though. Jesus Christ. Velvety indumentum on the underside. Yeah, they're kind of velvety up top, too. Sclerophyll. Look at those. Those flowers are incredible, though. And there's, you can see the fruits maturing as well. This is a new one for me, a yellow Siphocampylos, a yellow lobeliad, one of those, you know, Siphocampylos is a vining lobeliad genus. Well, I kind of scanned it. Never seen a yellow one, though. They're normally red. There's that pollen presenter and that fused anther tube right at the top. God, that's wild. I wonder what pollinates this thing. Some sort of hummer, I suppose. Maybe a moth, too, I guess it could be, with the yellow color. It makes it more uh, easily distinguished at night. Hummer flowers are normally red. Could be a hummer. Who knows? Either way, that's cool. What the leaves look like? Oh, they're kind of scabbard. That's a nice vista over there. Goddamn eucalyptus everywhere. You could see we're on an island uh, in terms of moisture. So where we are now gets much more moisture than the surrounding lowlands. And we're seeing plants that we didn't uh, didn't otherwise see. Like, I've seen Bacris trimeris or trimera popped up again. Oh, here's a nice Caliandra. Plants you other see plants you're used to seeing in more moist areas, you know, more towards the coast. Now oh, here's Bacchus platypoda, another weird Bacchus. Haven't seen this since uh, over there by Nova for Burgo. That's fucking cool, man. Wow, totally different flora here. Must get all the moisture as it rises. And what is this? Gumfrena, amaranth. They see kind of looks like it. Oh yeah, totally. Totally amaranthaceae might be that, uh, might even be that genus. I might be right. Stem photosynthetic. Just a bunch of little straws going back into a root back there. We got that Zeric begonia here too. 
Begonia grisia. So you can get a lot of tar on that. We got a Pelosa series hanging out. Exposed to the elements up there on that rock. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen this Trixus before though. That's a new one. Look at that. That's intense. Looks like it probably speciated out of the one that's uh, more lowland, but has much broader phyleries uh, and much larger flowers and larger leaves. Fuck, that's cool. Now, this place is rich, man. Who's this? What's this vining bastard? Oh my God. Is that a pea? Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't tell. I have to look at this flower for a second. It certainly looks like one. Oh my God, it is. Huh, you walk 10 feet and there's something else cool. Look at this. Here's another pea, a mimosoid pea. Because you have a mimosoid inflorescence, you can see those have already gone to fruit. Those ovaries right there. The ones inside this inflorescence are still waiting to get a... Uh... Well, the flower's not done yet. Look at that. It's waiting to get pollinated. Not going to make it anywhere. Of course, it's covered in scales and trichomes. Look at all those stamens. How many flowers you got in there? 20, 30? Oh, there's another Ericoid, Gaultheria, or Galasatia. Look, you got a, quite a pedestal on there. Oh, that's wild, man. What the shit? Uh, so it gets a little easier to walk, but now it's just bare rock. Oh, God, it's a daisy. Fuck me. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm such a fiend for Asteraceae. Look at those heads. Look at it. Vernonioid heads, it looks like. I'm guessing. Who knows? It's the most diverse subfamily here. Look at those leaves. So coriaceous. God damn it. Leathery, velvety on the underside. Look at the new growth. It's like a beige color. And look at those massive heads. Those massive heads of heads. All right. Aggregations of flower heads. Each one of those having a... Look, that is a single flower head. And then there's more flowers in there. Syncephalus, the head of heads, and it's a damn tree. Fuck, that's so cool. Oh, God. Yeah, there we go. There's one flowering. Whoo, it just came up that, that fucking hill. Syncephalus heads. Look at that. See, there's a flower. Yeah, total Vernoni. Vernonioidae. Is this just like a aromanthus on steroids or what? You can see those pink anther tubes. Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking wild. That's nice. There goes the sun. You know, like it and everything. A moments like this, you know, you can't take those away from somebody. <laughs> the moments of peace amidst the chaos and a somewhat depressing nature of modern reality. Modern human reality. Love Pelosa serious. This fucking pee is everywhere. You gotta get some nice money shots. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. Have a good rest of the evening. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Holy shit, there's a podocarpus here. I didn't see that coming. That's wild. I didn't even know there was Podocarpus in Brazil. I guess I could have just looked the goddamn checklist. Look at those arrows. A cool conifer. God damn it. Primarily Southern Hemisphere conifer family, save for a few species in the family. God damn, look at all that. That's wild, man. God, that looks like a U. <laughs> What's this, a Clusia? Looks like, yeah, it looks like a Clusia. Uh, there's cacti and podocarps growing together. That's insane. You know, we were down on the lowlands today on a sandy on a sandy stuff, and now we're up here looking at uh, these uh, carnivorous plants and plantations. Now we're up here. What the shit? You can see that blue that blue thing's the seed, the bait berry, because these are bird dispersed. Is that green thing behind us? It's kind of like an, just an inflated bract, a swollen bract. Relics of Gondwana, the podocarpaceae. What the shit? Did not expect, never would have guessed there'd be one of those up here. Fucking wild habitat, Jesus Christ. Look at that, oh my God. <laughs> it's a little hairy, parts of it. Oh yeah, look at that. You feel a dendron right there, look at that. God, this fucking habitat is, oh, it's getting too dark. Where is she? Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, look at all those. Look at that. God damn it. Let's go over there. Yeah, look, they're all over the ground and shit. Oh, man. Do you mind if we come in here and just take a couple photos of you nice real quick? Oh, shit. 
Oh yeah, look at that. You get the white flowers. I think the one down Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Those white flowers poking up. The one I seen down there just had uh, the red bracts out. Orthophytum crystalliens. Look at that. Wild ass habitat too, just all over. God, you gotta be so careful where you walk. Shit is so fragile. Oh yeah. God. Look at that. Kind of fuzzy leaves, dense coating of trichomes. There's that tree aromanthus. Well, I mean aromanthus, they're all trees. This is like a giant one. It's like an aromanthus on steroids. Oh, fuck. It's overwhelming, man. It's just so cool. I can't believe we saw a podocarp up here too. Look at that cactus. Look at that Pelosa Sirius. Ah. Bird pollinated. Coming down here, they're hopping around the ground, you know, trying to get in there. Well, I guess it's just hummers hovering probably. Very conspicuous flowers, though. How old are some of these individuals? Yeah, you could tell they get a lot of fog up here. Look at all the lichen on this this tree. What the shit is this even? Oh, it's dead. Whatever it is. Melista? I don't know. Who knows? Look at that. Just covered in lichen. Look at that. There's your, there's your nice duo. Cacti and bromeliads. Orthophytum and Pelosis series. Hey, so cute, isn't he? The or I mean, they're both, they both are, but I was talking about Pelosa series. Everesia, too. How about that? Got everything just caught in. These rocks erode in such a, they weather in such a bizarre pattern. It's like limey sand or what? Look, there's more of that podocarp. God, these things need so much moisture. I can't believe it's even growing here. Can't go any higher, though. You're already at the top of the mountain. So I wonder how it's going to respond to climate change. To that climate change that all these uh, absolute boomers think isn't happening. No offense to anybody, but you know, if you if you didn't if you're a climate then I wouldn't have to talk about it. It's fine, you know, this is fine. No offense. Just believe some goofy shit. It's okay. Oh look at it. There's a varigia inflorescence. Go right next to the podocarp. Just a vast chasm. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this is some uh, soluble rock. It seems like. Yeah, there's there's another Varigia. Look at a massive, massive one. God damn it. A double header. What is this? The Ruby AC. It's got those little fruits on it. Got opposite leaves. I don't see it. I can't tell who the shit knows. You got Pelosa Sirius right there. And then over this sketchy precipice, you got, uh, looks like AC Anthera. Some sort of orchid just clinging to the rock. 30 feet above uh, another cliff that then drops off more. Wild ass terrain. So many nooks and crannies. God damn! Look, there's the there's another po. This is the the same species, presumably just got bigger leaves. Uh, because it's probably tapped into more water. It's growing in a in, in this little nook, as you can see. God, that's just sketchy. What is it like? How far down does it go? Be kind of curious to get down there. Much bigger leaves than the other individuals we've seen, which are, of course, more exposed and more stressed. Get this, this philodendron root. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, and it starts all the way over there. God damn it. This is some of the most insane habitat I've ever seen. Oh, that's fucking cool. That's wild. Look at that, look at that root. Jesus Christ, this goes all the way down. There's a... Trixis, there's that aromanthus, no idea what this is. There's the fruits on it. No idea. White abaxial surfaces to those leaves, scabbard as hell. There's a little crack, god damn. There's where that puddle carp comes out of the ground. And it just drops off another 30 feet back there. This is fucking wild, it's hilarious. So that puddle carp could probably get during water times, it can probably get a lot larger. Probably get, you know, 10 meters tall. But it's just, it's, you know, as the climate's changed over the last, this is the Pleistocene, I guess. It's been stuck up here. It just has to keep, has to go on, has to keep going higher and higher and higher. God, what the shit is that? Oh, that's cool, man. 
All right, time to go. So I gotta go fix it. Bye. But there's a podocarp coming up right there, just germinating in the crack. So evidently there's recruitment. Get all the water when it rains. Just can't go any higher if the climate keeps getting hotter and drier. Oh shit, I didn't even see this coming down. This is a protea, proteaceae. God damn it. I think it's the same genus we saw a little bit further inland. Yeah, this this is like a, a mountain of moisture. This is like an island of moisture in a, an otherwise a seasonally dry, a very uh, very seasonally dry tropical climate. God damn, look at those leaves, man. Look at that. This is a totally different species than we saw. And there's the old inflorescence. You can see just a bunch of white flowers would be on that little spike right there. Yeah, look at this. this is, I, I assume this is the same species. But they're both proteaceae. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful underside. That, that, that russety underside. Same genus that we saw closer to the coast. Rapuala, I think it is. I forget the name. It begins with an R. Yeah, it is. There you go. See, there's that, that, that spike. That's fucking wild, man. This is a different backrest than we've seen. I can't make it down a mountain, man. I can't make it anywhere. There's just too much good shit to look at. It looks like the damn Proteaceae we just seen. Slightly. Sclero, you know, Sclerophyllous uh, leaves. That plasticky, leathery, coriaceous shit. But look at those heads. Are those heads a heads or what? No, those are actual heads. Those are the uh, phyleries on there. Ah, oh, that's wild. That is wild. So a very closely related species to this species of backers. Look how waxy the leaves are to a coyote bush, a Brazilian coyote bush. Backers, of course, biggest genus in Asteraceae, over 500 species. Who knows what the shit this one is, if it's even been named. Apparently people weren't really paying attention to too many of the plants when they came up here the first time. Because, you know, the, that orthophytum I just showed only got named uh, pretty recently.